Hi, I'm Ayaz Mimin with the World Cup update. South Africa versus Bangladesh, on the face of it, it looks like could be a one-sided clash. We've had many one-sided matches in this tournament. In fact, more one-sided matches than close finishes. And uh, this one to be played at the 1K day, where just the other night against England, South Africa were on the rampage. First with the bat and then of course came back very strongly with the ball too, to completely demolish England. And uh, therefore, one has to ask the question, what chance does Bangladesh, which is actually They've had a very mediocre tournament so far. Uh, do they stand a chance at all? This is sport. Anything can happen. But the odds are stacked heavily against Bangladesh. Batting lineup of South Africa is in awesome form. It's in Andre Klassen the other night was made a breathtaking century. There's Quinton de Kock who's been in fantastic form. Iden Markram, David Miller who's yet to fire, but he's always threatened to do so. And uh, you know, then they've got all rounders like Marco Hansen who. Primarily was considered a bowler, but has shown what he what he can do with the bat uh, when he when he played against England and had that fantastic partnership with Klassen. So this is a very strong and powerful batting lineup, and in in full form, full flow now. You know, so it's it's going to be very difficult for Bangladesh to stop this uh, this South African batting to to assault their bowlers. And if if Shakib Ul Hasan doesn't play this match, he missed the one against uh, India the other day, then they'll be even further weakened. Bangladesh have had their problems in the sense that they haven't been able to get enough runs. Uh, Lytton Das, Shakib himself, Lytton Das has, I mean, they've been, you know, getting runs off and on, but not enough collectively to put the other team under pressure. They've got a pretty decent bowling attack. If Shakib comes back, he's amongst the Premier all-rounders in the world, there's Mehdi Hassan Miraj, also a fine all-rounder. There's Saski Naimad, there's Mustafizur Rahman. And yeah, in batting, they've got, apart from Lytton Das and Shakib himself and Mehdi Hassan, they've got Mushfiqur Rahim, who has perhaps the only one who lived up to his, uh, to his you know, potential and reputation. He'd been coming, pitching in with some really good scores, holding the team together just when it seemed that they might wilt. But against... This South African team, which also has amongst the bowlers, let me just list the bowlers. I've talked about the batsmen. There's Kagi Zorabada, there's NGD, there's Keshav Maharaj, there's Koit Zee. And I mean, it, this is this is becoming or emerging as one of the most potent forces in this World Cup, the South African team. And it'll take something really special from Bangladesh to stop them from winning.